So right away you can see that the Celsius scale is just so much nicer. I mean, it, it just from a math point of view, zero means freezing, 100 means boiling. I mean, I can wrap my brain around that. That makes sense. That's, that's nice and neat because zero and 100 are nice numbers. Having 32 for freezing doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Why 32? Well, there's history behind it. We could go into the history. The history doesn't even matter, though. That's just the end result. Same thing with the boiling point, 212. What's special about 212? Well, there's history behind why it was chosen the way it was chosen. The fact of the matter is this is, is a much more convenient scale. All right, so yeah, we use uh, Celsius most of the time. Fahrenheit is out there. Uh, so on your test, you may be asked to learn how to convert between these two guys. Now, most unit conversions in chemistry we talked about before, uh, very easy to do. You have a conversion factor. We do the technique I showed you where you kind of drill the horizontal line, the vertical line, use your conversion factors and all that. It's great. That doesn't work for temperature. The temperature is the only thing that it doesn't work for. And the reason is because, uh, it's, it's a long-winded reason, there's not, a, there's not a straight conversion factor between these two. And the real reason is because there's 100 units between 0 and 100 degrees Celsius here, but there's not 100 units between the freezing and the boiling point of water. So this scale is really set up completely differently than this scale, so it's not quite as easy to convert. But there is a simple uh, equation that we can use to convert. The temperature in Fahrenheit is equal to 1.8 times the temperature in Celsius plus 32. So this is what you're going to use to convert between Fahrenheit and Celsius. If you know the temperature in Celsius, then you stick it in here, multiply, add 32, and you're going to get Fahrenheit. And just to prove that to you, let's talk about zero degrees Celsius. If we put zero Celsius in here, this term disappears. The freezing point of water is 32 degrees. Makes sense, right? If you put 100 in here and do the math, you'll find out that it comes to 212. So that's just something to think about. So let's go ahead and do a couple of quick problems to kind of illustrate how to deal with converting temperature because it is different than doing the unit conversions of you know meters to kilometers and things like that. That's why I'm breaking this out kind of in its own section just so you know how to do it. So if you want to convert, um, like we just said, zero degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit, just to be complete, just to show you mathematically, the temperature Fahrenheit is equal to 1.8 times the temperature in Celsius plus 32. So you would just take the 1.8, drop 0 degrees Celsius in, plus 32. So the temperature in Fahrenheit is equal to, this multiplies to 0, so you're just left with 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So what it's telling you is 0 degrees Celsius is equal to 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, you know, not, not too bad because 0 is an easy number to deal with there. But what if you were doing 10 degrees Celsius and you wanted to convert to Fahrenheit? So again, you're going to use the same exact equation. Temperature in Fahrenheit is equal to 1.8 times the temperature in Celsius, but that's given to us as 10 plus 32. All right, so the temperature is equal to, what's 1.8 times 10? What's 1.8 times 10? When you do this multiplication, this is 18, and you multiply it, uh, you take the 18, you add 32, you're going to get 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's the answer. So 50 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 10 degrees Celsius. Um, you see how the, the scales look a little different? 50 degrees Fahrenheit, for those of us in the United States, that's a kind of a chilly temperature. It's, a, it's not freezing, but it's, it's kind of chilly outside. It's definitely cold. You need a jacket for 50 degrees. But in, in Celsius, that's 10 degrees. I and mean, that's you can just see how cold temperatures are, are just set up a little bit differently. In other words, when you, when you get uh, you know, a warm summer day in Celsius, uh, is something like 30 degrees Celsius, but a warm summer day in Fahrenheit is more like 90 degrees. That's a hot day, right? So the scales are just set up totally differently, uh, and that's why we need to use this equation to convert between them.